Horace Mann was the father of American public education, and I think he would be proud to know that a company is named after him, but more importantly to know that that company was focused on educators and really made sure that those educators are recognized and acknowledged uh, in the way they richly deserve, but don't often get to experience. Our company is dedicated to serving the educator market, and one of our basic principles is the belief that educators are taking care of our children's future and we need to take care of theirs. Horace Mann's support of the NEA Foundation's Awards for Teaching Excellence is a natural fit. I can't think of a better way for a company that was founded by educators for educators to give back to a most deserving group of professionals. The call came in to find out about a teacher. Her name was Mrs. Thomas. We didn't know her. Supposedly, she doesn't teach kids anymore, only teachers. This was gonna be hard, but they don't call us for the easy ones. We started asking around to find some answers. We had a day where we invited all secondary teachers to come together in our whole district, about uh, 800 teachers and she advocated for the new instructional framework that we're implementing in our district. And she also has worked on political campaigns for some of our propositions in favor of some and against some in California. Mrs. Thomas has worked with English language learners a lot during her career. So when she comes to a union leadership position, she's really passionate about making sure all the students we serve have equal opportunities to succeed. Um, and through her work in the union, she reminds teachers all the time that you're not just teaching some of the kids, you're teaching all the kids. She sounds great, maybe too great. Looks like we're going to have to go all the way to the top. Not only is she continually doing everything that she can do to lift her students up, but she does the same thing for her colleagues. She understands that collegiality is, is, is part of the key to effective schools and effective teaching, and she works as hard to help her peers understand the dynamics of, of teaching and learning as she does to improve her own professional practice. This was getting serious. We decided to check out what her teaching style was like. We are doing a training with all of our middle and high school science teachers on our district instructional framework called Explicit Direct Instruction. Right now the teachers are discussing the importance of checking for understanding to ensure that all students in their classes are learning at the rate that they need to learn. She seemed pretty comfortable up there and everyone seemed engaged. To get some real answers, we were gonna have to talk to a former student. Mrs. Thomas was my teacher in ninth grade and um, she is really special to me because I was going through a hard time that year and my mom was in the hospital and none of my teachers really like cared to notice besides her and one day um, we had to write an essay and I started crying because I was thinking about it and she took me outside and she was like, hey, like, are you okay? And I didn't want to talk about it, but like, she just she kept pushing me and um, I eventually ended up telling her. And so every day she would ask me, like, what's wrong or like, are you okay? And I remember that year she was actually in the hospital for two months herself. So I just like, I felt like I could connect to her and um, she was just there for me. Finally, we managed to track her down. This summer, I'm going to be pretty busy because I'm going to have a new job. So I'm going to become president of my union next month, kind of unexpectedly. So i got a lot to learn. So I'll probably spend a lot of the summer reading books and talking to smart people about this new job. She had slipped through our fingers for the last time. I'd gotten a tip that she'd made it to Washington, D.C. But who can know for sure in times like these? Wherever you are, Mrs. Thomas, good luck. You've earned it.